Recently, I uploaded a YouTube video titled 4 Reasons Why I Don't Use Without. Most people started saying that being a without content creator and not using it for my personal or work project basically makes me an imposter. Their premise is why you are uploading without content if you don't use it. Today I want to answer to all this, so let's get started. Basically, most of the comments that I received, they don't give any kind of real reason why they think that I'm an imposter or that this is something that should be done, that this isn't right. But well, they aren't actually giving any kind of uh, reason for this, uh, to, to think this. They are just saying, okay, if you are um, a good old content creator, you must be using good old for your personal work projects. But it's something like they are just saying they, they don't have a reason behind it, it seems. They just think that that is unethical and that's all. But well, I can also imagine some reasons why they think this isn't okay. And I will mention some of them, but actually without having their comment saying why they think this is incorrect, we are just here uh, thinking, okay, but it's, it may not be like the real case why they think this isn't uh, good. But well, I can imagine some points, for example, if I am not using growth for my personal or work projects, it could mean that I don't have enough knowledge in order to be able to create informative videos about Guido to provide good information. But well, the reality is that I have used Guido for over one year for my personal uh, projects. It was literally one complete year, year that the only thing that I did in terms of game development was using Guido. I didn't even have this YouTube channel. So yes, indeed, I do have knowledge and I do have experience in Guido. And if you don't believe me, I will leave you in the description down below the link to my GitHub uh, where you will find uh, all the projects that I created with without and I will also show it right now. So for example, here is my GitHub and here you can sort by language. So let's select GD script. And well, here, most of the repositories, I think that all of them are completely in Spanish. But well, the important thing here is the dates, okay? So the last thing that I have in without is February 10, 2022. This doesn't mean that I'm not using without since 2022, of course. But I haven't created like a personal project that I wanted to learn or something since 2022. But well, then I actually created more stuff for myself, even for my full courses that you have available in the channel, for the tutorials that I created, etc. But I don't post them here because there is no need of doing that, I think. So and here, if you scroll down, you will see all these projects that I have. Okay, some of them are tests about something others are even complete games that you can basically i think that you can still download them and load them in basically import them if you want and you can see that uh, the, the first project that i have here is in may 31 and the uh, last one that i have here is february 2022 and what is the thing that is happening here is the fact that i wasn't using github before so as you can see here i have like a tons of projects that were updated lastly on May 31. But I actually remember that actually I started using Guido something like February uh, of 2021. And then the other point that I think that is why they are saying that this is incorrect is basically because I have the stereotype of seeing out there any other content creator that well, they are talking about Unity, they and then they have their own personal project using Unity or the only engine that they are talking about or that they are creating games in is basically in that same engine that they are creating content about. Basically, their premise is that if you talk about X, you have to use X. I, th I think this is actually a downside. When you have experience in a variety of engines, you can give a much more balanced opinion about uh, about them. I never said that Goodout is an engine that is awful, that nobody should be using, because of course it is a decision that really depends on your own needs, in what you want to create, even in what you like or you don't like. You may like the, the node system, you may like its UI, or you may not, and that's completely fine. But the point is, is that if we are always thinking about, okay, you have to always stick to the same engine. If you see a content creator using engine X, that content creator must always use the exact same engine, if not, they aren't okay. And well, what if we actually were able to think a little bit besides of that kind of a stereotype, and we will actually value having different experiences in a variety of engines, because that can actually be quite beneficial for 
uh, spirit, for getting the message across, for getting the opinions across that you may have about different engines. Because you have both sides, you have or even more sides if you have used more engines. So well, that that is just something that is super worth mentioning. Now that I I hope that this has been clarified, I want to give you my own reasons why I do this. Basically, why I I don't use Groot and why I still make content about it. First of all, I have the complete right to create videos about any topic that I want and about any engine that I want. And of course, I always get informed before making any kind of video. Um, because as you saw, for example, I have full courses of more than, a, than one hour long. That of course, that takes a lot of research because I am not copying any other course source code. I'm basically using that. Or when I create a video about how to use certain tools, certain add-on or certain whatever, I still have to open up Goodout and actually be able to talk for a couple of minutes about that tool that I want to showcase in a tutorial. So there is always a lot of research behind the camera. And even I always uh, update the community, well I don't update the community, but I always uh, make new videos when there is a new Goodout version, so I always keep up to date with the latest features. And another reason why I do this is because there aren't as many Goodout content creators as there are in Unity. So basically, of course, if there are less content creators about Goodout, me as a small YouTuber, I have more chances of actually position myself as a relevant content creator because there are huge Unity game development tutorial channels that have huge amounts of subscribers and they have already have a community built. So it is much difficult for me as a newer creator to basically uh, have been, to be able to gain some traction in the algorithm. And I think that as well, this is completely understandable. And then because also Godot has amazing tools, it's an amazing engine, they are always um, updating it with amazing features that I think are worth mentioning. And I want actually more people to start knowing this engine and at least try, try it out because it's an engine worth um, trying out. And then, well, you will see you will see if you want to use Godot, if you want to use Unity or any other engine out there. But the point is that it is such a good engine that I think it's worth trying for people, for literally any pe person that is out there watching this video. So basically, I hope that now with, with all this new video about this exact topic, my posture has been um, a little bit better understood. I would actually like, I would like to know here your thoughts about this. Do you think that this is still unethical, that this is wrong? Because here there is no holy uh, word, okay? Nothing is written in a stone. There are different opinions and nobody here has like a complete truth. So anyway, I will see you in the next one and bye bye.